ऑडियो बुक मैथ मैजिक बुक फोर टेक्स्ट बुक इन मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्लास फोर चैप्टर इलेवन टाइटल्ड टेबल्स एंड शेयर्स पार्ट वन नाउ लेट्स लिसन टू चैप्टर इलेवन टाइटल्ड टेबल्स एंड शेयर्स पेज नंबर वन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी Chapter Eleven, Tables and Shares. Shama's garden. Shama has planted sunflower, rose, and marigold plants in her garden. She has planted them in three flower beds. Her garden looks like this. A diagram has been given here on page number one hundred and twenty, showing three different flower beds planted by Shama. these flower beds have sunflower rose and marigold in them there is a drawing of shama made here as well and a talking bubble is there with shama's drawing shama says see how i planted 18 plants in each flower bed each flower bed has a different arrangement observe how the roses are planted 18 equals to 6 into 3 so there are 6 rows with 3 plants each what are the ways in which the sunflower and marigold are planted 18 is equal to dash into dash so there is dash row with dash plants 18 equals to dash into dash so there are dash rows with dash plants each you too can make your own garden draw a garden showing flower beds with 48 plants each row should have the same number of plants the concept of multiplication can be related to the arrangement of things in an array some other problems based on contexts like the arrangement of chairs children in the school assembly etc can also be discussed page number 121 jars in the shelf bima made a shelf for 30 jars this is a long shelf with two rows each row has the same number of jars The shelf which Bhima has made has been drawn here on page number one hundred and twenty-one, with two rows in it. Thirty jars are kept in the shelf. Can you think of other ways to make a shelf to keep thirty jars? Draw a shelf. Show how many jars you will keep in each row. How many rows are there? Have your friends drawn it in different ways? Easy tricks. Two diagrams are given here on page number one hundred and twenty-one. These diagrams are of Bunty and Gudu. Bunty says, "I do not know the multiplication table of seven." Gudu responds, "I know the table still five." but there is an easy trick i can make the table of 7 with tables of 2 and 5 children will enjoy building new multiplication tables for themselves instead of only memorizing them page number 122 on this page tables of 2 tables of 5 and of 7 are given Table of two and five have been given in the form of milestones, and the table of seven has been given in the form of different blocks. The tables of two and five are given in such a manner that the sum total of the tables of two and five at each step is the table of seven itself. For example, one into two is two, and one into five is five. The total of two and five is equal to seven. 
Similarly, 2 into 2 is 4 and 2 into 5 is 10. The total of 4 and 10 is 14. Using the similar rule, the whole table of 7 has been written in blocks under the tables of 2 and 5. There are two diagrams given here on page number 122. Guddu and Bunty are talking amongst themselves again. See how I added the two numbers in the yellow boxes to get the table of seven. Aha! It is easy. I can also make the table of seven with the tables of four and three. Help Bunty to make the table of seven using tables of four and three. Table of four. Here on page number 122, there are two tables given in the form of milestone or on yellow boxes. Now, Bunty wants to make the table of seven using tables of four and three. So, next to the table of 4 and 3, there are blank boxes given to complete the table of 7. Now, the table of 7 can be made by adding one fraction or digits of each table. One has been done for you, like 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. Now, follow the same pattern to complete the table of 7. Help Bunty to make the table of 7 using tables of 4 and 3. Which two tables will you use for writing the table of 12? Page number 123. How many cats? Some of Gayatri's cats were playing in a box. When she tried to count, all she could see were legs. She counted 28 legs. How many cats are there in the box? There is a drawing given on page number 123. This is the drawing of some of Gayatri's cats. Cats are playing in a box but only their legs are visible. Gayatri counted 28 legs. Can you tell how many cats are there? There is a talking bubble given here. Along with the diagram of Gayatri, she is thinking. Eight legs mean two cats. Twelve legs mean dash cats. There is a table given here on page number 123. This table has two rows. How many legs and how many cats? You have to write along with the number of legs. That those many legs make how many cats? For example, four legs means one cat. Eight legs mean two cats. Twelve leg means how many cats? So on. You have to complete the table. So, 28 legs mean dash cats. Bilu has kept his chickens in a box. He counted 28 legs. How many chickens are there? Leela has not gone to school for 21 days. For how many weeks was she away from school? Encourage children to fill in the table and also proceed towards making generalizations. For example, they should be able to see that 48 legs would mean there are 12 cats or vice versa. In fact, this forms the foundation for algebraic thinking in later years. You were just listening to Chapter 11, Part 1, titled Tables and Shares, Voiceover Artists, Shalini Singh and Vebhav Srivastav, Sound Recordists, Butelang Lingdo and Mayank Kumar Assistance in Production by Shanu Muksim and Kusum Lata Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary This book was presented to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India